High up in the mountains of South Africa's Cedarburg stands one of the rarest trees on the planet, the Clan William Cedar. The Cedarburg has got a very unique floral biodiversity and one of the major things is the Clan William Cedar tree. It occurs nowhere else in the entire world. This iconic species survived the last ice age. The cedar tree is developed in a period um, about 225 million years ago. These trees date back to when it was very, very cold. But today their future hangs in the balance as the species is critically endangered. Historically, these trees were harvested for their wood. More recently, they're facing a far greater threat. Due to climate change, the whole world is experiencing higher temperatures, lower rainfall. All of this accumulates to more frequent fires, longer summers, shorter winters. It's just a knock-on effect that is bad news to the cedar tree. For the past 17 years, conservation manager Rika Duplessis has been committed to saving the Clan William cedar. We collect the cedar seeds um, as needed and then annually we plant the trees. In some cases we have to hike up high into the mountain. There's no roads, so everything that we need needs to be carried in. The staff helps to carry the trays of seedlings in. In some places we even have to carry the water to water the seedlings when we plant them. It is hard work, but I have a dedicated team of staff. Duplessis has personally been involved in planting 13,600 trees. It's a delicate and diligent process that begins with harvesting the tree's seeds. This is a clump of um, cedar cones. When they're ripe, they dry out um, and it releases the cedar seeds. The seeds take 30 months to mature. A tree reaches seed producing uh, maturity at about 25 to 30 years of age. Duplessis says this region used to be lined with avenues of cedars. Today, they're mostly found high up in the mountains, sparsely spread out between rocks. They love growing on these outcrops. They're naturally protected by the fire. That is a big threat to these trees. Another thing that's actually a threat are also rodents. They love eating the young shoots of the trees. She says only 10% of seedlings planted here will survive. But Duplessis has started pursuing alternative methods by creating cedar tree plantations. In the plantations, we use a water box to plant the trees in. A water box is just a modified plastic container that looks like a donut. Um, and then it has a cotton string that comes from inside the box that works as a reservoir and we are finding that we almost have a 100% survival rate on the trees that we plant with the water boxes. A leader in her field, Duplessis is paving the way for more female conservationists. I think we are in some cases more passionate and we can make a positive impact at caring for the environment. I have to believe that the efforts that we are putting in is making a difference.